Let's talk about endometriosis. Actually, about endometriosis migration organ documentation. Endometriosis is the tissue that leaves the uterus and travels around the body attaching to organs, releasing blood every month in response to the hormonal cycle. Yes, it bleeds, attaches and bleeds on different organs. And I'm going to give you a little information about the organs it's been documented in. The brain. It can attach there and cause catamenial seizures, epilepsy, and migraines. My story, the lung, chest pain, collapses the lung, catamenial pneumothorax, shortness of breath. The bladder, painful urination, blood in the urine, and other symptoms. The pancreas, painful cyst and fluid. Sciatic nerve, pain shooting down the back of the leg. The liver, large cyst. The ovaries, a lot of pain, infertility. Endometriosis can be devastating. The skin, yes, it does go to the skin. Moist areas that respond to the hormonal cycle get moist every month. The colon, also my story. Pain, gas, bloating, constipation. The JJ, painful intercourse. The heart. Can endometriosis travel to the heart? That's a question causing a lot of controversy. There are three theories as to why endometriosis will travel backwards. First, we have the Halbin's theory, vascular lymph transmission. This means menses flows backwards, allowing endometrial cells to enter the colon and chest. Mai's theory, also known as colomic metaplasia. This states that cells can change from one type to another, but arise from the same embryologic origin or precursor. The third is from trauma or manipulation of the uterine tissue causing the endometrial cells to migrate through the blood. Well, hopefully within the next few years it'll definitely be determined as to how this occurs. In the meantime, we'll all help and do our part to find out why it's traveling around women's bodies and how we can get some relief. I'm the author of Living with Lung and Colon Endometriosis, Catamenial Pneumothorax. If you'd like to contact me, you can contact me through catamenialpneumothorax.org. If you'd like to find this blog, it's at blog.catamenialpneumothorax.org. And when you find the blog, you'll find some instructions and more information about endometriosis, migration, organ, documentation.